What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Block Hash podcast on here on the channel on YouTube. Um, we're going to talk about Solana today. We're going to look at the charts and do some analysis, some price predictions, short term and long term. We're going to look and see what the data is telling us and where we're likely to go. Obviously, Solana has been doing very good this year. We need to dive in a little bit deeper. So we're going to do that here in just a second. Make sure to check out our Substack to get all the latest insight and news directly into your email box, blockhash.substack.com. Subscribe for free, $5 a month if you want all the exclusive content that we got. Make sure to also check out our membership options on YouTube if you want exclusive access to our videos and our content here on YouTube as well, if you prefer that instead. All right, so taking a look, uh, we've had some lines drawn previously for Solana on some previous videos. Uh, so we'll be using those today. And I think Solana is looking really good. I'm not, uh, full disclosure, I'm not a fan of Solana. Why am I not a fan of Solana? It's a reliability issue. And I think most of you can relate to that if you've played with the Solana ecosystem or you've invested in it. I don't like it when there's a blockchain that has downtime and that's essentially crashing. Like we don't want that to happen. Ethereum has problems but it doesn't crash. Bitcoin is slow and clunky, but it's reliable. It does not go down. Um, that's something about Solana that worries me greatly about its long-term viability. But for now, you know, it is a good blockchain. If it could just fix that problem, it is pretty damn solid. So that's just a full disclosure on where I stand with it. Now, the data speaks for itself, okay? We... We can look and we can say, going back to 2021, obviously, it started out at a measly couple quarters. Yeah, a couple quarters, 50 cents, maybe less than that at times, maybe more at times, whatever. Um, and then it's just rocketed up, all right? So it went to as high as 260 in the last bull market. It got as low is like $9, $10 in this bear market here between 2022 and um, late 2023, early 2024, whenever you want to say that it started. Um, this bull market didn't really officially start until we got into October, November of 2023. Then I think it became a bit more noticeable. Um, but you can see the incline and the change up in the price action. And I think that's, you know, something that's quite notable across the market. Um, but you, I drew these last time. These are the ceiling and resistance areas for Solana that it needed to get through. Historically, it looked like it had some support here. It looked like it had some resistance here as a ceiling. Same thing, you know, we came up in December of 2023, just six months ago, and weren't able to break through, came back down. We did get through this come March. Um, we went all the way up to our second ceiling on the dot, guys. Look at that. It's beautiful. All the way up to that second ceiling, sitting at about $200, and then it pulled back. But it didn't just pull back beautifully. It sat right on our floor. So this is how you know charting can be accurate uh, for the long term. When you really pay attention to these little things, you can start to figure out where the trends are at. You can start to figure out direction, resistance, potentiality. Uh, same thing with our upward trend here. Not perfect, but pretty darn good considering the direction it's going. Um, and these upward and downward trend lines can help give us a sense of where these wedges might come in, where we couldn't expect breakouts. Um, and we had one down here where it had to go up or down. It wicked down briefly and then it popped up. Um, caught support a second time here in um, May, just a week ago, not even a week ago. And Solana's sitting at 181 today. Not bad, Solana. Um, it's moving in the right direction. And honestly, I don't see it slowing time, slowing down anytime soon. What I would like to see, obviously, is it get back to 200. Um, Let's see if I can draw a little bit for you. 
I'd like to see it come up and touch 200 to come back down and touch maybe 170 on this line and then go up. The reason I want that to happen is because I want this long-term trend to hold because that's been so positive for Solana. The last thing we want is for that to break down. And every time we've come back down to this line, we seem to venture into oversold territory and then we bounce. And I like that, um, especially right here when we had our pullback from 200. So that like 130, uh, yeah, 130 ish, 125 ish, 120, um, hit oversold immediately popped, hit it again, immediately popped, um, hit it briefly on the upward trend line popped immediately. I want to see this continue upwards. Cause if we can do that, we're likely to see a much bigger breakout come relatively soon. Um, cause there's many ways to look at this, but if we're expecting to see some sort of breakout it needs to be a bit more explosive the only way we get that is if we can keep this momentum going if this trend stays the same we're going to see bigger moves like this um likely where we come up down break out to the top level down maybe we go sideways for a bit and then late this year pop again all-time highs uh really rocketing up early 2025 that's a great scenario right there um, what we don't want to happen is see this come down and fiddle around, not be able to get out of this wedge. And then we break down again for Solana. And then now we're kind of in this sideways funnel that could last a very long time. All right. We don't want that scenario. We want it to tap, tap, pop out, run as much as possible, tap this, tap, and then stay in this funnel if you want, but eventually break out. That's our path forward for Solana, in my opinion. Um, you know, I, I think if we can do that, which it looks like we're aiming to do it by the end of the year, we should be able to test our all time high again. Could we do it sooner? Absolutely. We could do it way sooner. I mean, we had this massive pop just in late February, early March of this year. So who knows where we are by the end of the year? But I'm a fan of taking things slow and stair-stepping our way to success like it has been because when you just ballistically go up like it has in the past, it's not sustainable. This is a bit more sustainable in price. Like we have a lot of floors, a lot of resistance to fall back on. We're above the moving averages a majority of the time. You know, if we fall down below them, it's brief. Um, you know, again, zooming back in here, look how well it rides the moving average. Like that's such a good indication of a bull market. When you flip that one in 200, especially the 20 and the 50, and you just nonstop hold that all the way up, you know, you can, when you look at these moving averages, you could say a good portion of the time, it will be above the 50. So every 50 days, the likelihood that it's above this is good. In 50 days, the likelihood we're above 53 is good. All right. If this comes up, you know, then we're looking better and better. It's, just a good sign when you're trying to look at price and make some predictions for yourself when you're investing. Um, it's moving in the right direction versus when you're in a bear market, you're below those moving averages a majority of the time. And that's what we saw, but we're clearly staying above it. We're definitely in a bull market. We just don't want this to run out of juice. All right. Because we want it to either hang out up here or pop and go to new highs. Now in the short term, I think by the end of the year, we will 100% be through $260. Um, and that's going to be a very nice from where we are today, at least 51 to 52% gain. Now, where are we going in the long term? Great question. Well, we only have three years or so of chart history, so I can't really tell you what we're going to do. It just looks like a giant soup bowl. All right, because we could come up here and then Solana could have all these failures and they could just run back to zero and stay here for until 2028. Entirely possible. But best case scenario, we get through those levels and we move higher. If we have anything that was similar to what we saw from January 2021 to its all-time high, where we went 1,200%, how do we go 1,200% from where we are today. 
How do we do that quickly? I mean, if we look, it's tough, man. Let's say from our all time high, all right? 100% would be equivalent in size, but 1200%? Yeah, I don't know if we're going 1,200% anytime soon. I could see 300 or 400, though. I don't see why not. I mean, the case is, you know, is it going to catch up to Ethereum and perform in the same manner? It very well could. I mean, Bitcoin used to be worth pennies. Ethereum used to be worth $6. I remember buying it $6 or $7 in like 2017. Definitely. Yeah. 2017. Um, again, who knows where the prices go on this stuff, guys. I just want to show you what I'm seeing. It looks good. I like the fact that it broke support. It showed and acknowledged the ceiling. It acknowledged the floor. Um, that means we have strong um, areas to look at for resistance. The upward trend line whew, seems to be going good. Um, but that's all I have on Solana for today. Um, just be wary. Keep an eye on the RSI and the MACD. That'll give you a good idea on direction of trend as well. It doesn't seem to stay in oversold territory for very long. It does tend to get very overbought though. So know that when it gets overbought, it's probably going to correct hard, at least in the short term. Uh, we're not there yet. We're somewhere in the middle. But I'm excited to see where Solana goes. I think it's a good ecosystem. I think there's great application for it especially in the gaming space dap space DeFi space um, much cheaper than ethereum much faster a lot of perks building on solana these days i just don't like that it has downtime worries me but other than that that's what i think i'm saying two 260 end of the year long term 400 500 maybe in 2025 i don't know next bull market we'll see um that's my two cents. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section on Solana and Soul. Uh, make sure to share with a friend and like the video and to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.